start with the rear. It's the farthest from the master cylinder. I got the lid off. It's full of fluid. I want to gravity bleed this, so I'll just open this bleeder up and let gravity do its job. You can force it through and you can also suck it through with this. That tends to aerate the fluid, meaning it'll cause bubbles in it and then it'll end up taking you longer to bleed it out that way than it would if you just let gravity run its course. All right, now that we've gravity bled this, I have an assistant in the car that is gonna manually pump the brake pedal three times. I'm gonna open the bleeder, starting with the inside rear, and we're at the right rear, the furthest away from the master cylinder. And we're gonna bleed this caliper until I see no air in the line. All right, Cass, go ahead and pump it three times. And then hold it. Holding. Crack it open. Some air bubbles, you can't hardly see it, I can. Is it down? All right, let it up. Three times again, and hold. Holding. Okay, let it up. We do that one more time on the inside, then I'm gonna to switch to the outer. I really didn't see any air bubbles that time. You holding? Okay. Yep, you can let it up. I'm going to move to this bleeder on the outside. Go ahead, pump it. Holding. Just a couple air bubbles. All right, let it up. Pump it again. Holding. That looks good. Okay, you can let it up. Do this to all four corners, starting with the right rear, left rear, right front, left front. After every caliper bleed, open the master cylinder up, make sure that the fluid is not dropped down to where you're sucking air because you have to start all over again but we should have a good pedal after this.